Okay, just for the record, this is Jim O'Donnell. I am going to make an attempt to bend a pair of scissors behind the screw hole. The scissor was turned over the wrong way on an Okami Gold and jammed into the wheel, which bent the blade. I wouldn't recommend that you try this at home. We're going to give it a shot, though, and see what happens, because this customer wants to try and replace this shear and can't because this shear is no longer available. So we're going to give it a try for him anyhow. This is a three-ton press that I'm doing this on, and we'll see if it snaps, because I have to bend right over the screw hole. So let's give it a shot. I'll be back with more in the video in just a minute. Okay, I have put the shear back together at this point, and the problem that I was running into, and we'll show you here as best we can in the video, is when the shear was sent to me right over the screw hole area, it was bent, and that meant that when the shear was trying to close, the blades would not touch at all along the length of the blade all the way to the tip. And now you can see this in the video, but you can see that we now have a proper set in this scissor. I had to put the bend back behind the screw hole though. This scissor fortunately um, is an old uh, Z-Con, it's the Z500. Um, might still be able to get them today, the guy just couldn't find them so you want to give him a shot. You can see now it cuts fine. Um, I may go in and do a little bit of a touch up sharpening for him. But it's just one of those situations where you run into with a shear every once in a while where something goes wrong and you just can't get it fixed because it gets bent too out of whack. Well fortunately we were able to help this time, but not every time so be careful. Make sure that when you're doing your sharpening, you don't ever reverse your wheel on a flat hone. And also make sure that you flip your clamp over into the right position for honing if you're using an Okami or any upright machine.